All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, Miss Zena. Listen here. I have to admit, I am never, ever going to be able to do your hair, girl. I can't do the curl. I don't know what's wrong with you. But check what I've done. Remember my cousin Roxanne? The one I can't stand? That girl can do some serious hair. So she said every Saturday she'll do your hair so you look good all week long, all right? But the reason I got you up early, we got to get there on time. Otherwise, it could get ugly in the black beauty salon if you get there late. All right? Come on, let's go. David, I mean, Daddy, um, why don't you let me back the car off of you? <laughs> LJ, I mean, Sonny, if I ain't in the car, you ain't in the car. Man, what's the worst that could happen, huh? Your butt could swell up. How can my butt swell up? Well, when I was your age, I took my father's car one time and I backed it up and he found up my butt swelled up from the belt. Come on, come on, come on straighten up the letters, man. This ain't the slow train scramble board. Thank you. Slow that down. Can we slow that down? Slow that down. Look at your hand. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Somebody in the seat already? Look, I told you, 8 o'clock, David, you're slow, you're blown. Uh, baby, Cousin Roxanne's gonna make you look real pretty today. Thank you. Come on, Roxanne, what? It's only 8.03. Well, that's 15 minutes too late. You want to be in the chair by 8, you got to get here by 7.45. You know that's wrong, don't you? Well, at least Zayn is next, right? Hey, David, would you leave Roxanne alone, please? I don't want her distracted. I didn't get here at 6.30 this morning so you could mess up my hair. But you've been to church since 6.30 and you still look this bad? Don't go that, David. I'll put you out. <laughs> Sweetie, you want to get your nails done while you wait for me to finish? Yeah, I like no polish. Scarlet, put a little blush color on my girl's Zayna's nails, will you? What's this do, hard to hear? Come on, boy, sit your foot down. No. It's chilling, dang. <laughs> so, hey, honey, do you like any of these nail colors? No. No? But don't you want your nails to look like these? <laughs> that ain't funny, Carmen. Freddy Krueger don't want nails like that, all right? Hey, thanks. How you doing? Oh, hi, baby. How you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm here to see Lola. Okay. What'd you do? Kill your dog, you'll get a weed. <laughs> Sweetie, Lola's ready for you now, right over there, okay? okay thank you. Wait a minute, hold up. Get some more hair. Take it all the way down. Ooh, ooh, it's in my eyes. I can't see. You're my hair so long. I'm sitting down. I'm just sitting down. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, you got time? Ain't gonna make any difference. We're gonna be here all day anyway. Yo, I hear that. Man, I ain't seen an afro like that since 1975, Jack. But you gonna get a blowout? Nah, man. Better than that, I'm getting a jerry curl. No, you That's a six-hour job. You out your mind? What is your black pride? What would Angela Davis say if she walked through the door and saw that? She'd probably say, who's the fine brother with the curls? We're losing, we're losing all our young black men. Hey, where's Dave? He took Zayna and the car to the beauty parlor. Hey, he, he was gonna let me drive. But see, I don't wanna hang out. What you talking about, LJ? And you know you can't drive. Hey, man, I've got lots of experience. Oh, yeah, so what are we talking here, huh? Bumper cars? Video games? <laughs> Tell you something, LJ. Driving should be taken very seriously. All right, look, well, here's the thing. Dave does let me drive once in a while, but, uh... You know how uptight he gets. Always going by the book. Clarence, he takes the fun out of everything. Hey, LJ, that's Dave. Yeah, but I love the way you drive, Clarence. You look... I, I don't know. Cool. Uh, well, you know, I do have my little certain style, you know. Look at him, that's plan, look at him. You know I mean? Clarence, 
Lawrence, who taught you how to drive? Man? Oh, this dude named Sweet Willie used to drive this deuce and a quarter. He taught me everything. He even went with me all five times to my driver's test. <laughs> <laughs> it took you five times, man? <laughs> Uh, one of the things that we will be covering, LJ, is attitude. Great, then let's go. What are you doing? Hey, man, first thing we'll be covering is the fundamentals. That's right, man. We can't have you developing bad habits. All right, now, I want you to hop behind the wheel. Uh, first, uh, open the door. Hold on a second. Now get in. <laughs> All right. Now what do you do first? Fasten my seatbelt. Wrong. You pick your music. You see, LJ, this is a <laughs> You ask yourself these questions. One, where am I going? Two, who do I try to impress while I'm stopped at a light? Well, I'm going past the school and I want to uh, impress the cheerleaders. All right. Now, what tape do you pull? Uh, Snoop Dogg. Wrong. Dr. Joe. Wrong. Baby face. Hey, there you go. Baby face. Yeah, now you're driving. You see, that way you'll be able to pick up chicks of all ages. And, you know, with a little uh, sensitivity. <laughs> all right, now the first thing you do is you adjust your rear view mirror. You get that together. So I can see the cars behind me, right? I know that. I thought you said that you knew something about driving. LJ, you adjust your rearview mirror so you can see yourself. You see, you want to make sure that you're looking good for the lady. You know? you make sure that's all the way right. All right, now, what I want you to do is I want you to buckle your seatbelt, but just leave a little room. What for? For? <laughs> for the lean, brother. All right, how is this? Uh, what are we talking here, huh? Cheerleaders or the debate team? All right, there you go, you got it. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to take your little hand and just lay it up on the steering wheel real cool. And then get that one finger working. See, you kids are lucky you guys got power steering these days. Because all we had was that knob. You put your arm out the window to make that left, you turn that wheel, cut it like that, and you let it go. We'll come back and kick you in the jaw, Jack. All right. Look at you. You got the look. You got the look, brother. You're looking good. Now, how do you feel? I feel uncomfortable. Well, that's good, you know. If it's uncomfortable, it's good. But what do you want, huh? Comfortable or you want cool? Feels great. All right. All right. What do you say we uh, take this here car for a spin? Hmm? All right, let's go. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Well, then let's go then. <laughs> Bernice's chair's over. Go get that. I don't want Bernice over Roxanne. Come on, Bernice is better than Roxanne. No, oh. Come on, Bernice is so good that... Shoot, somebody else sat in her chair. I guess we gotta wait for Roxanne. Come on, Roxanne's over. Let's go. All right, Roxanne, girl, come on and do your thing. <laughs> oh, no, you did not, Dad. Come on, now. You gotta wait in line like everybody else. I think not, son. See, I have a standing Saturday appointment. Yeah, since when? Since I paid the tuition for Roxanne Beauty School. You ready, Uncle Ruby? Do yourself, girl. David, would you go away, please, so I can get my scalp massage? Ooh, you got some nice curls, Uncle Ruby. Thanks, baby. Those ain't curls, those are naps. Look at them. <laughs> Roxanne. Yeah. Claudette is crying on line one. She said she's gonna cancel her appointment due to car trouble. Girl, she does not have car trouble. She has man trouble. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you heard a woman crying over car trouble? Claudette, what's wrong with your car? I knew it. I knew it. Girl, how many times do I have to tell you? You don't tell a man you got kids until the third date. <laughs> well, you got to hide them. Girl, no man wants a woman who has kids. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How you gonna say that about all men? Hold on, darling. Now, you know, don't no man want no woman with no kids. Uh, I can't keep you focused, dear. Please. You know what? I hate when y'all generalize about men like that. When we try to lump y'all all together, y'all get upset. Uh-uh, I'm original. I'm unique. Now, you know she's telling the truth, David. You date a lot, don't you? No, see, I stay in the basement and meditate, become one with myself. Wait, quit lying. Of all the women you've dated, how many of them have had kids, David? Huh, how many? 
Uh-huh, um, just like I thought. Hang on, girl, I'm dealing with the double standard. Now, wait a minute. Just because I haven't dated a woman with kids doesn't mean I would not date a woman with kids. Oh, so what you're saying is you wouldn't mind dating a woman who has kids? Well, if she was my type, I would see no problem with that. Claudette, come on down. I just set you up a date with my cousin, David. No, I don't take a Yeah, and don't let him tell you he ain't got no money. Claudette's on the way. <laughs> LJ, we have arrived at the moment of truth. Are you ready? I think so. Assume the position. <laughs> Does it feel good? Oh, yeah, very natural. All right. Let's spank this puppy. What? <laughs> Turn the key, LJ. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. It started, man. It started. All right, all right. Now, calm down. Calm down. All right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put it in first gear, ease out the clutch, then give it just a little gas. All right, here we go. First... Ease out the club. <laughs> Dave's gonna kill me. I hope so. <laughs> Jake, quit tripping, all right? Just, just calm down. Calm down, man. My life is over. You know Dave's gonna see the car, isn't he? You know there's a pretty good chance of that. <laughs> well, maybe I can hide it. I stacked it, what's up neatly, and, and, and he won't even see the car. Well, that's amazing, LJ. Huh? Where's the car? You know, LJ, I don't even see the car. I can't even see the car. Look, LJ, it's no good. It's no good. It's no good. Well, maybe we'll just back it out and won't say anything. Uh, LJ, it's gonna be a little draft in here, don't you think? Look, if you get out of I'm calling the tow truck, man. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Edge, don't... Oh, come on. LJ. Hey, 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 look, look. I'll cover for you, all right? You will? These things happen when you learn how to drive. But what I do is I just... Just tell Dave it was me so he don't come down on you, you know? I don't know how to thank you, Clarence. <laughs> I own you for the rest of your life. <laughs> come on, Dad, I have never seen you comb your hair my whole life. Just put your stocking cap on and get out the seat. <laughs> Dave, will you leave me alone? It takes exactly 15 minutes for Roxanne to get to this point and another 15 minutes for her to get done. Good afternoon, ladies. It's lunchtime. Hey, that's Leon hey, with the lunch. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man. Right. Hey, what you bring us today, Leon? Escaviche fish and tiger shrimp salad. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. Yo, man, no, no. You're not going to buy your way to the front of the line. <laughs> David, man, that just hurt me. You think I would do that? I know how hard it is to get your hair done on Saturdays, you know? Yeah? Then what is all this food? All right, check this, right? Every Saturday, I come down here and sell lunches at a jacked-up price because I know these people aren't getting off line. It's called more money, more money, more money. It's the Jamaican way, brother. Yeah, man, maybe I need to sell some sandwiches. You're right. Hey, Xana, come here. Come here, we're going to take over this seat, all right? No matter what happens to me, you guard the seat because we ain't giving up. I'm next! I'm next! Uh, hello, Claudette. Nice hat, girl, but you ain't fooling nobody. Get over here and meet my cousin, David. David, Claudette, Claudette, David. Mm, nice to meet you. Hi, haven't I seen you in Jamaica? Do you know that I own that place? You know I have children, don't you? Wow, look at the time. I have to go. David, this is Claudette. See, that's pitiful. That's a pitiful black man right there. See, kids don't bother me because I have my own children. See, this is Zayn and my daughter, and I have a son also. And she's getting her hair done sometime today, I think. Um, would you like to go get some coffee? Yeah, I guess that'd be okay. Right. Girl, can you put a few curls in this hair? I can't go out looking like this. Oh, there is no room at the end. I gotta finish up Rudy, then I gotta start on Zayn. Uh, oh, hey, God. God, you look good. You look fine. Besides, I know this little restaurant is a drive through You can just duck your head and nobody see you, okay? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Now, let me get this straight. He's 42 years old. You've never been to his place. You don't see him on the weekends. He calls you, but you can't call him. And you want to know if I think he's married? I think you've been under that hair dryer too long. 
Wake up and smell the neutralizer. So, uh, can I see Zena's hair? Uh, I don't know. How was coffee? Roxanne, I'm not gonna tell you how coffee was. Claudette, how's your car run? Oh, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Cars running fine. <laughs> Claudette, don't tell everybody our business. Oh, what difference does it make? I mean, you can't keep a secret from Roxanne. She's gonna find out everything anyway. Come on, pay up. I told you he's gonna get the date. <laughs> wait, wait a minute here, man. I, I, I don't believe this. You bet on me? Yeah, I bet on you. You should be mad if I bet against you. You my son. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you tripping? Why are you dripping? <laughs> All right, everybody, so you can know, yes, Claudette and I are going out for another date. Now, are you happy? Thank you very much. Well, who's that? I don't even recognize her. Please, girl, next time you get a weave, try to fool somebody no more than six inches a week, okay? A week of dirt cheap. Can I see my daughter's hair now, please? Uh, Bernice? Spend my money, I want to see what it looks like. Yes. yes, girl. Yes, uh -oh. come on, baby, we're going to show your daddy what we did to your hair, yes. No! No, Roxanne! You made my girl look like a, a hoochie mama. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a hoochie mama. Hoochie need love too, okay? Baby, she looks good. Change it back. Oh, I'm not changing it back. Change it back, I'm not, You want me to change it back? You bring it back on Saturday. No, I ain't never coming back. You gonna bring it back. See, that's why I don't come here, because well, you can't do it here. Uh-uh, just give me the money. Give me my money. Give me my money. I ain't give you no money for it. No, I ain't give you no money. You go back. I ain't paying nothing. What? This is dope. Now she talk like a gangster. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm going to call your mama. That's what I'm going to do. Give me my money. I got something for you. Come on, baby. I got something for you. Come on, now. I know crazy, baby. Come on. Is this tablecloth hill? Yeah. It looked like Mills on Wheels. Clarence, I'm scared. I mean, look here, LJ, look here, don't worry, okay? I told you that Uncle Clarence gonna take the rap for this, all right? Don't worry about it. Man, what's taking that tow truck so long? You did give him the right address, didn't you? Hey, listen, man, I told him to look for the house with the brake lights. Can't be that hard to find, all right? Listen here, when we get inside, I'm gonna wash this goop out your head, okay? That's sick. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Check this out, man. You see what they did in here? That high butt, yellow, no doing hair. Shouldn't have a place, no cosmetology license, having cousin of mine. That's what she did to my daughter's hair. Man, looks dope. Very nice. Looks nice. She looked like a hoochie mama. <laughs> looked like she tried out for an LL Cool J video. <laughs> I'm stupid, right? I'm stupid, right? I'm, I'm stupid, right? So I come in here, yo, hi, hi, hi. I'm stupid, right? I can't see. I'm, I'm, I, got, I got stupid right here, right? I got stupid rhythm before you got <laughs> My old 300 ZX. I <laughs> took it in for oil change every 3,000 miles. <laughs> Never had a dinner on it. But I ain't supposed to sit in my living room. Am I stupid? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it was an accident. <sighs> accident? <laughs> How you gonna put <laughs> Stevie Wonder can't drive this bad. <laughs> Talk to me, brother. Say something to me, please. I'm, I'm listening, please. Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was a kid. David, I'm hurt. No, no, you ain't hurt yet. You're about to feel some hurt. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? David, I'm sorry. My foot slipped. No, come here. I'm going to show you a foot slip. Come here. No, don't come here. Don't let me see. Because if you come here, I'm going to hurt I got a hoochie mama in the house. I got a 13-year-old boy, drove my car, and I got a best friend, let the boy drive. Jesus, what have I done, Lord? I don't have sex, I don't drink, I don't smoke. You... Oh. Dave, 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 
they, 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 how soon we forget, brother? I ain't talking to you, fool. <laughs> how does a grown man hey, hey, look at you? Look, look, all right, look, 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 all right, look. You only 12 years old when you drove through the first Baptist church? Huh? See, it ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You drove through a church? I know you ain't touching me. <laughs> no, see, I didn't drive through the church. I drove up the steps of the church, and the usher, who shouldn't have been there on the Saturday, got hit. That was his fault. I never got in the church. I got, David. I ain't got no money. I'm sorry, no man. It was an accident. It will never happen again. Again? What? What? <laughs> Cannot happen again, cause you got to drive for this to happen again, and you ain't never gonna drive again in your life. See, a boy only has two rites of passage in his life: getting the driver's license and going to the prom. Well, homie, I hope the prom works out, and I hope you find a girl don't mind riding on the handlebars of a bike, cause that's how you get there. You understand me? I can't hear you. Don't shake your head. Say something like. Yeah. I, I, I. Wait a minute. Where my album? No, 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 no. See, no, no. We gonna talk about. We gonna talk about. Hey, hey, hey. Where you going? We got some more show left. From one number five. This one's for Canada. In five, four, three. Hey, the Great White North, dude. Cool. Promo number six. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. This one's for Newark. It's a nice camera. <laughs>